Almost every Nigerian knows late General Chukwemeka Odumegu Ujuku, the man who fought for the secession and freedom of the people of Biafra. A struggle which led to the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970. But little do they know who his father was. In this video, we bring to you the super interesting and inspirational story of Sir Luis Odumegu Ojuku, who was a notable businessman, transporter, real estate mogul, founding president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and the very first Nigerian billionaire and richest to ever live on the face of the earth. He was so rich that the British colonial masters had to borrow his Rolls Royce to convert the Queen of England around Nigeria when she visited in 1956. Stay tuned as it brings you the interesting grass to grey story of Sir Louis Odomegu Ojuku and also tell you the shocking reasons why he never wanted his son Chukwemeka Odomegu Ojuku to join the Nigerian army. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you're highly welcome to Laura Emmy TV and please do well to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we post a new video. We post very interesting content every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into our story. Born Louis Philip Odumegu Ojuku in the ancient city of Onewi in 1909. He was the only boy and second of four children. Sir Ojuku went to government primary school at Saba and on completion of his primary education in 1922, he proceeded to the only secondary school in the eastern region at that time, which is Hope Wardle Training Institute, Calabar. After completing his secondary education, at Hope Wardle Training Institute, Calabar, in 1928. Sir Louis secured a job as a tire sales clerk with John Holt PLC in 1929 in Lagos. While working as a tire clerk with John Holt, Sir Louis Ujuku noticed that many Igbo traders who came to Lagos to buy tires always bought textile as well. With his meager savings, Sir Louis traveled down to Onicha where he opened his first business venture called Ojuku Stores and employed one of his relatives to oversee it. Then he returned to Lagos and started sending textiles on lorries to his shop while still working for John Holt PLC. His textile business boomed and by 1930, Sir Louis bought a second-hand truck and employed a driver in order to move his goods himself and Ojuku Transport Company was born. Sir Ojuku worked tirelessly and by the end of 1930, he was the major transporter on the East-West Road in Nigeria. In 1939, on the outbreak of the World War II, the British government requested the use of Sir Ojuku's fleet of trucks for the war, a deal he agreed to. When the war ended in 1945, the British government recognized the sacrifice he made and he was awarded and he was awarded a KBE title, which means Knight of the British Empire. The end of the war also created a high demand for raw materials from West Africa and Sir Ujuku transport business exploded sky high and he diversified into other businesses. Some of Sir Ojuku early drivers, such as Chief Ilodibi, aka Ekenedeli Chuku, and Chief Izuchuku, the owner and founder of Izuchuku Transport Company, would later become transport moguls themselves. Sir Ojuku was so rich that in 1956, when the Queen visited Nigeria, the British authorities had to borrow his Rolls Royce and personal driver to chaffield the Queen around the country. Sir Louis was also a financial pillar of Unandi Azikiwe NCNC party and when the party came to power in 1960, Sir Louis was offered the position of finance minister which he turned down. The position ultimately went to Okoti Ebo. Sir Louis died in Nkalagu, present-day Ebony State in 1966.
Dr. Louis CV is the most intimidating you would ever see. And his portfolios include the first president of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, President African Continental Bank, Chairman Nigerian Cement Company, CEO Ojuku Transport Company with over 5,000 fleets of trucks, Chairman Nigerian National Shipping Line with over 100 ships and vessels, Chairman Lion of African Insurance Company, Chairman Bisco Nigerian Limited, Chairman Nigerian Industrial Development Bank founded to specifically give loans to industries, Vice President Lagos Chamber of Commerce, Chairman Palmline Shipping Company, Chairman Nigerian Produce Marketing Board, Chairman Eastern Nigerian Development Corporation, Chairman Coastern West Africa, Director Shell Diaki Petroleum, Director Thomas Watt and Son, Director Nigerian Coal Corporation, Director Guinness Nigerian Limited, Director Nigerian Tobacco Company, Director Daily Times of Nigeria. The man was simply larger than life. Sir Louis also owned numerous buildings, landed properties, and stocks. It is estimated that as at the time he died in 1966, he was worth about $40 billion in today's money. Sir Louis never wanted his son, Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku, to join the Nigerian army. He wanted him to assist in running the family's successful businesses, but Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku blatantly refused and secretly got himself enrolled into the Nigerian army to the disappointment and dismay of his father. In an interview, Ojuku said, and I quote, my enlistment into the Nigerian army, to say the least, startled everybody in Nigeria who had their feet. I went to Zaria and enlisted. I did that mainly because I didn't want any interference from the well-meaning influence of my father. I joined the army, signed up, but I wasn't to be spared the embarrassment because it did not take long before my father was aware of it and he did everything possible to stop the enlistment. This is why, despite my educational background, I was not enlisted as an officer cadet. The general idea was that it was agreed between the governor general and my father that the best way actually was to let me go into the Nigerian army and I would see for myself what the army truly was. I don't think they took into full consideration the level of stubbornness I must have acquired from my father as well because I remember the question always came to Zaria from Lagos, how is he getting on? So guys, this is the story of Sir Louis Odumegu Ojuku, the richest Nigerian man to ever grace the face of the earth and the father of Biafran war leader.